I want to thank the people of New Zealand, around 200,000 New Zealanders who have put their trust in ACT and would like this genuinely independent team of fabulous ACT MPs to work for you. For the ACT Party, this is just a stepping stone to better policy for all New Zealanders. Because as the world has changed, our small island nation must change with it. We must adapt to our new reality, get on top of the debt, and rebuild a country that we can all be proud of. And these people will be in Parliament asking the hard questions, but not only opposing, also proposing ideas for a better tomorrow. I want to I want to I want to thank in addition to my Epsom neighbors and those New Zealanders who party voted act from Cape Reinga to the Bluff I want to also thank our 55 candidates up and down New Zealand I want to thank all of those people who make our democracy real. How good was Andy Parkin driving the bus 16,000 kilometres to hear New Zealanders? I want to thank all those people that came to our public meetings and participated in our democracy so that we could think about a better future and put those ideas into action in our parliament. I want to thank those thousands of New Zealanders who gave up their hard-earned money before the IRD got it and <laughs> gave donations to make our campaign a success. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I want to thank one volunteer in particular, there are so many, and that is John Windsor. John Windsor is the quintessential volunteer, putting up our hoardings, organising our mail delivery. That is what democracy is about. Make no mistake that the policy settings New Zealand has today are not sustainable. We can't lock ourselves down and keep borrowing to paper over the cracks. We must confront our new reality that this virus is going nowhere and get smarter in how we adapt. We must have an honest conversation about the debt and build a country where the next generation have a real chance of owning their own piece of dirt, where education truly works for all and where our productivity growth is not in the tank so we can afford the kind of pharmaceuticals they have in Australia. These are the kinds of things the ACT Party will be working for, along with defending the fundamental freedoms of New Zealand to their property rights and to our freedom of speech and to our autonomy over our own body. That's what we believe in because a free society is a beautiful society and that's what the ACT Party stands for, the inherent dignity of every individual. That's what this team will be standing up for in the parliament on your behalf every day from tomorrow. Now, for a lot of people, it's bittersweet. We have done well, and all those of you who have helped the ACT Party should be so proud. But it's also true that the result we have overall tonight is not good for New Zealand. And for ACT, this is just a stepping stone to building a platform and an agenda for real reform that will make New Zealand a better place. So this is not the end. This is not our 2020 campaign election night party. 
This is our 2023 election campaign launch. Are you with us? Well, that's great because all of us are with you. Let's have a party. Thank you. Seymour. Three cheers for David Hibbert. Hibbert.